The New York Giants signed Kenny Galladay, giving them an impressive array of weapons on the offensive side of the ball. The question, though, remains at quarterback. I'm Robin Lundberg here with Bill Enright. And Bill, just how much pressure is on Daniel Jones? And I'm going to say all of it, right? Because you, you look at the, the players, Saquon Barkley should be on the, the way back. You've got Galladay, uh, Ingram, Shepard, you know, on and on down the line. Slayton on the offensive side. This will ultimately, I believe, be the season that determines whether Daniel Jones can be the quarterback of this team going forward. So th that's a, a you know significant amount of pressure. Pressure on, jobs are on the line. You, you just ran through some of the Giants offensive playmakers. They also brought in John Ross, Kyle Rudolph, Devontae Booker. So they're adding more offensive skill positions to this already talented offensive roster which puts a lot of pressure on Daniel Jones, maybe the most pressure out of any quarterback in the NFC East. Dak Prescott, he just got a big contract. There's no worries about anything job-related there. Ryan Fitzpatrick, we know that he's just a stopgap. Jalen Hurts, we're, we're unsure of that situation for the Philadelphia Eagles. But in terms of the NFL, uh, NFC East quarterbacks, Daniel Jones is the only one that's a starter right now that may not be the starter after 2021 if he doesn't perform this year. And that goes for the Giants general manager, Dave Gettleman, who took Daniel Jones sixth overall back in that draft. And the pressure's on for him, too. So jobs are on the line uh, for Big Blue, both their quarterback, their GM. They have not won or excuse me, they've had one winning season since 2012, and that was in 2016. Since then, they haven't won more than six games in a single season. And that is going to add, uh, build onto the pressure, not just for their performance, but they have to win games. And if you look at their opponents this year, they're playing the NFC South and the AFC West. I think at best that you, you can factor in or pencil in seven wins for the New York Giants this year. Well, it does feel like a referendum on Jones and that Gettleman re regime. You know, to me, the, the play that, that best defines Daniel Jones is the long scramble where he fell down because you get a glimpse of his ability, but then there's the, the mistake that's in there too. And, and that's really been the thing with him throughout the, the sample size that we've seen with, with the Giants where there's flashes. You say, all right, he can really move or, you know, he's really got an arm, but then he makes these inexplicable mistakes and, and he does them uh, rather frequently. 